Eaton here for your morning meeting today, December 4th, 2020. I'm here with Ms. Kalen. Good morning, all. We are excited to be with you, friends. Let's get started with morning meeting. First of all, congratulations, folks. You have completed a trimester uh, of the year, and I think it's really important we take some time uh, to be proud of ourselves like that adorable otter. Um, whatever you accomplished this trimester, you did it in you know incredibly difficult circumstances. You should be proud of every success you had this trimester. So take a minute to be proud. And we are now off to trimester two, which is awesome. We have a fresh start in classes and we are off to an awesome start this week. Um, just want to echo Mr. Heaton as a community. We showed so much hard work and perseverance uh, through trimester one. And throughout, many of you also provided uh, feedback through interviews, through student council, to your teachers and advisors. And so today we are really excited and eager to talk to you about some specific changes uh, for trimester two based on the feedback that we received from you, um, from staff, and from families. Awesome. So here are three major changes we want to make in trimester two. Um, first, we're going to move to doing mandatory tutoring on Wednesdays, which we'll talk about in a minute. We're going to move to prioritize some content, and your teacher is going to be in charge of that. So we're not going to talk about that this morning but they're gonna be uh, making some changes to content uh, of what they teach. And then finally, we're gonna make some changes to our classroom participation expectations. So starting off with mandatory tutoring. Awesome, so why mandatory tutoring Wednesdays? Uh, during in-person school, we know how much we benefit from just individualized support and small group tutoring. And this has been challenging to replicate. And so we're excited to start this on Wednesdays. Uh, to provide more time for students to, to receive small group support. So uh, what will this look like? Let's go to the next slide for details here. So Wednesday mornings will stay the same. All students will be expected to attend advisory. This is what we will use to mark attendance for the day. That will not be a shift. Uh, the schedule will not change for Wednesdays, but it will move to mandatory tutoring, mean that, meaning that teachers will sign up designated students um, for support during those class periods. Students that are signed up are required to attend um, and we are confident it, it is going to be super just valuable small group time. Uh, for students that are not signed up, uh, you'll have the time to complete missing work, uh, practice, or, or take some time away from the screen. Um, and in the afternoon, uh, makeup day will continue, advisee one-on-one -on -one check-ins will continue, um, as well as additional support and club opportunities. Again, we're looking forward to this shift. Um, if you are signed up for mandatory, mandatory tutoring or classes meeting and, and you do not attend, um, someone will follow up with you. We, we really wanna make sure we use this time to the best. Um, and so a dean or, or admin will reach out to you and a guardian to problem solve. Awesome, thanks Ms. Kalen. Um, the other change that we wanna talk about today is about classroom participation. So when we talk to students about how Try One went, what we heard over and over again is like it, it, we're not getting enough time like connecting to each other in class. We're not seeing each other's faces enough. Um, we're not like hearing from each other. Uh, and so we're going to change that. Um, we need to kind of reinvest in our community, our connection, making sure that we're, um, you know, all getting a chance to talk in class and to learn from each other. So here's what we're moving toward like away from everybody on mute all the time um, and just one teacher talking to you know more conversation and more of lots of people sharing um, and and more of a of a group conversation we're moving away from you know staring at a, a blank screen of like letters and toward you know having times when everyone's going to have their camera on and we're all um, going to be looking at each other um, and and getting to to feel like we're we're in class so here are some of our participation expectations. First of all, showing thinking. We expect that every single student is going to be showing how they're thinking about the topic in class, uh, whether that's in a Pear Deck, whether that's um, you know in a Google Doc, um, in OneNote, whatever it is, like you should show that you're actually thinking and not just like sitting there spacing out. Um, and second, we expect every student to take themselves off mute and answer questions uh, when the teacher calls on them 
and to take themselves off mute and ask questions when you have them. Awesome. Third one is cameras with purpose. During designated parts of class, uh, teachers will ask for cameras on. And when teachers ask for cameras on, um, all students are expected to turn on their camera. We know this has so many benefits from community to connection to teachers being able to more easily support you and your learning. Fourth is proactive communication. We know that working and learning from home presents all sorts of unique challenges and things are going to come up and that is okay. The ask is that when, when, when a student, when you cannot meet uh, one of these classroom expectations, that you communicate proactively with your teacher or your advisor so we know what's going on and we can support you from there. So this means you're gonna be spending some more time on camera in school. And so that means you have a choice to make. Now, left um, is someone who just woke up uh, seconds before class started. Uh, did not take any time to get ready um, or, or do anything to look in any way presentable. And on the right is someone who maybe got up a little earlier, took some time to get ready, uh, maybe is invested in one of those fancy lights uh, that, that, that you all have, you know. Um, but the important thing to remember here is both of these students are going to get a great education. They're both going to be on camera when their teacher asks them to. They're both going to take themselves off mute to answer questions, to ask questions. They're both going to complete all their work. And so it doesn't really matter which one you want to be. All right. It might even be fair to say uh, that we can't even say that one of them looks better than the other one. You know? Whoa. Uh, Mr. Mr. Heaton, I was with you until that last part. Um, I think we can all agree who looks better here. Well, but. Uh, Mr. Heaton, that one's done. Yeah. Well. That hurts my feelings, but OK. All right, folks, so classroom participation expectations. Um, if you are not showing your work in in the Pear Deck or the OneNote or wherever you're doing work, um, or you're not responding to your teacher when they call on you or, or they message you, um, you can expect that the teacher will give a whole class reminder. Hey, everybody, we need to be in the Pear Deck. Make sure you're getting work done. Um, and then you can expect an individual Teams message from your teacher, um, and you need to respond and explain what's going on. Um, and if that doesn't happen, you can expect uh, Ms. Pittman and or me or another administrator to reach out and make sure that you um, are, are engaged in class. All right, to close, we've got a quote. Sometimes the bravest and most important thing you can do is just show up. We are looking forward uh, to these changes for Try2. We're looking forward to showing up as a community, um, and I know it will lead to a ton of progress and growth. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, Wolves. Have a great day.